I think it's great that you were able to find that. Nikki, were there people around you during that time influencing you to write? All right. What I talked to you about, I wrote about in a poem called Isolation Isolation Station in uh, my memoir, Ordinary Hazards, which you, have you read this? Yes. (laughs) Okay. This was the poem the try where I tried to capture that. The house was full, but with strangers. And I was there by myself in the dark, in a tiny pocket of a room with a tiny bed to sleep in and little space for the fears I'd packed in my suitcase, which makes no sense because why would I bring them with me? And the night sounds far into the city girl left me tossing and turning. There was no more room in my head to hold the anger rising like steam, searing the edges of my brain. There was not even a shelf where I could stack the questions, crying out for answers that wouldn't come. Why did mom have... Love liquor more than Carol, more than me. Why did daddy let strangers take us away? Why did grandma refuse to come to our rescue? Why didn't they love us? Why didn't anyone love us enough? Why, 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 stop? I leaped out of bed, switched on the light, grabbed a piece of paper and a pen, stabbed the page and let my thoughts gush like a geyser shooting high into the moonless sky. Then falling down on the page, I held captive till every line was stained with my feelings and the heat of them finally had a chance to cool and suddenly I could breathe, breathe, breathe. And there was, once again, room enough in my head and my heart to just be. Then I closed my eyes, and it was morning. Gosh, 